Okay, welcome back. Uh, real quick, another pseudo quick video. Uh, we created this piece last time. None of it means anything, but let's say we want to create a blueprint of this to give to a shop or give to somebody to make. Uh, up here in the left where it says design, we're going to click that and we're going to go down to drawing. And uh, we're going to select design because this model right here is our design. Uh, it's going to ask us to save it, give it a name, etc., etc. So we're just going to call this our arbitrary block. We'll go ahead and save it in the admin project. So we're going to create a drawing from this. It's going to say um, content visible only select or just going to say full assembly drawing new template from scratch uh, standard but we're just going to call it um, ISO units is inches sheet size again arbitrary we'll just say A3 and click OK so it gives us our blueprint page here and kind of this weird view of our model from the side so right here where it says orientation I'm going to select top and now you can see when I bring it out we're looking at our part from the top uh, scale it has as one to two let's make it one to one and right here in style you can select just visible edges shaded shaded with hidden edges uh, most blueprints have this visible and hidden edges so I'm going to select that I'm going to bring it over here and I'm going to click once and then I'm going to press oh well let's play with this a little bit right here center marks and center lines let's put center lines on our holes and click OK boom there's our blueprint drawing but you'll notice that it doesn't have any of our measurements any of our details uh, so we have to add those ourselves. Um, up here there's the dimension tool I'll click this top line drag it up click here it puts our dimension in there three and a half inches until we get to uh, this fella here so let's select this line and this line drag it around let's pull it out here so now we've established that as 45 degrees our overall length we can click this line and this line and drag it down here or we can bring it up here let's bring it up here just to make it a little less cluttered or maybe a little more cluttered um, we can pull out dimensions for all of our holes but first let's hit this radius so we click our radius edge we drag it out now we've called out our quarter inch radius there up here under text we can select hole in thread note and then we select our uh, threaded hole drag it out here half inch 13 UNC 3B fit and click OK dimensions oh, from the top of our text to here bring that out and let's go from the very edge of this to here So we've roughly kind of laid this out. Um, we can add other views, even though this should be enough, by clicking Projected View. Select the parent view, which is this one. Now if we bring it down, it's going to show us the side. If we bring it across, it's going to show it that direction. Um, we can bring it over here too. But we really don't need another view for this. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Let's do that. Let's 
select OK. So now we can see that, um, I don't know, three quarter, what do they call it? Isometric view. We'll dimension this guy here. Uh, it won't let us dimension an isometric. So we would have to create another projected view. Bring it down, click OK. And then with our dimensions, we can see that that's one inch thick. We can see our counterboard hole pretty well. So we'll go like this, quarter inch. Here's our counterboard. Pull that down. And there's our eighth inch deep counterboard hole. So this is kind of a sloppy drawing, but if you gave this to somebody, they would be able to create this part. And that's really what we're after. So here's where you can change all your title block information. Just, uh, oops, you don't do what I just did. Double click in here and we're able to edit our title block. So this department, we're going to call it um, ENG, Engineering Department, Technical Reference. Uh, you can add your name, the current date, document type is uh, mm, Super Blueprint. Title for this piece is Arbitrary Block because that's what it is, approved by. Um, Manuel, approve date, uh, he's going to approve it tomorrow, document status, drawing number 101110111, revision 1, basically if you needed any uh, title block information, this is where you would put it, finished properties but we don't know where to put our threaded hole, which I just realized. So we're gonna add a center mark to our threaded hole up here by selecting center mark, clicking on our threaded hole. We're gonna add a dimension from the center to the top. Pull that over, half inch, center to the side, two inches in. And now we know exactly where that hole is. We can do the same thing with either of these holes. Um, I'm not going to. You can add all different kinds of views, section views. So let's say we wanted to get a good look at um, this thread here. We select that view. Select the start point of the section line. Select an endpoint. Click the check. So now we've created another view. Oh, this is a mess because it's all an afterthought. But I'm going to bring it over here. So now our view AA, it's like a cross section of this. Bring it right there. Visible and hidden edges, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So when you're reading this, you see, oh, here's section AA. Here's what the cross section looks like. Um, this is a mess of a drawing. I'm somewhat embarrassed to have created it, but I think you get the idea.